Hi everyone, Gemma here, thanks for watching today. In this video I wanted to share my recent purchases from Craft Stash. I have a small selection of products to share with you today. I've been holding off on filming this video because I've been waiting on my Black Friday purchases from Craft Stash to arrive. Unfortunately they haven't arrived yet, so I'll share them in my next video. So I have a selection of products from Card Making Magic which is designed by Christina Griffiths. So I have the A2 Elegant Nestables, which is an eight piece die set. So I have some lovely frames in here and I thought they would come in handy as I don't make many A2 cards. But Christina said that you can also add them to larger cards if you wish. From the same collection, I also bought the Circle Elegant Nestables, which is an eight piece die set. And there are some lovely frames there. And again, from the same collection, I have the 5x7 Elegant Nestables. So there are different frames in each uh, die set. And they've got some really nice details to them. I really like the flowers and the leaves here on this frame. And it's got a very unusual shape. I thought that was really nice. Then lastly, I have the 5x7 Torn Edge Nestables. And because I spent over a certain amount, this die set was free and I also purchased the Perfect Roses A5 embossing folder so I thought that that would go really nicely with this frame here as it got a similar effect so that's everything from Card Making Magic I also picked up some cardstock so I have this A4 card which is a pack of 20 240 GSM in the coral colour and it's from Creative Expressions and it's the Foundations card. Then I have some Blue Miri card and Rose Gold Miri card and they're both from Pink Frog Crafts. So I picked up some Nouveau Drops. This one is the Dream Drops and it's the Indigo Eclipse. And then this is the Dual Drops and it's the Cocoa Blush. Then from Simply Made Crafts I've picked up a special die and stamp set so this section here all this in the darker blue are the dies and then we have this section here of the stamp so I'm just going to open it up and show you the size of the dies so there's the number eight there you can see how large they are I thought they'd be excellent to add to my stash We've then got this die here then to add to your numbers. I think that they're called the ordinals. And then we have this lovely stamp set. I really liked the font that Helen selected here. And then we've got some nice decorative pieces as well. So I'll just have a look at the papers with you. So you've got this really nice sort of floral style neutral background. And this cool blue and cream sort of foliage paper there. It's a really nice colour on that one. And this is sort of like a damask style paper again in the similar neutral tones there then this watercolour pink that's really nice I like that and then we have this script paper with love that's that's a really nice background paper come in handy for Valentine's Day then another damask style with the beige and blues so really nice tones on that one and then these two papers is why I've picked up the pack because if you haven't well if you know me by now you know that I love my florals especially anything in pink <laughs> and this one I really like the the tones on there it's sort of like a blush pink and then the creams and beige is and that you've got picking out the blue as well 
so everything coordinates really well in this pack and then we go back to the start there so there's all my recent purchases from craft stash a short and sweet video for you today as i said i'm still waiting on some deliveries to arrive and i'll share those in my next haul video my next video will be the start of my 12 days of christmas series where i'll share 12 different projects ranging from cars and 3d gift boxes so i'll have a selection of makes that you don't need specialty dies for and then others that will use dies so i hope you'll join me all of the products in today's video will be listed in the description box below don't forget to give me a like a comment or subscribe to the channel if you're already a subscriber thank you so much you may also want to hit that notification bell to ensure you don't miss out on any future tutorials thank you for watching today i'll see you soon bye